Praise be Jesus and Mary, now and forever. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Catherine of Alexandria, who was a fourth century virgin martyr, highly venerated in the Middle Ages in the West and throughout Christian history, very popular in the Eastern Church. She was from a noble family and uh, was ed highly educated in, in her age for a woman. She was, you might say, a philosopher. And uh, in, in her contact with, with learning and learned people, she came to know of the Christian faith and thought her way through it and was converted and then became a sort of an evangelist for the faith. She is the patron saint of philosophers and preachers. And uh, eventually she made her way to the Roman Emperor and tried to convert him. And, and uh, when she managed to convert uh, some of his associates, people in the court, uh, a number of virgins, uh, he became infuriated and put them to death. Her, he gave a chance to change her ways and proposed to her. He was impressed with her and she was reputedly very, very beautiful. So he wanted to, to take her in, in marriage and made a proposal as long as she would reject the Christian faith, which she refused to do. She refused both to reject uh, uh, the Christian faith and to renounce her virginity. She wished to remain consecrated to Christ and so famously he put her on the wheel. You see her portrayed in images uh, next to a, a, a wheel of torture and finally beheaded her. Um, St. Catherine of Alexandria is one of the saints also who appeared to St. Joan of Arc during her um, calling to to bring uh, the Dauphin to the throne of France. She was uh, guided by St. Catherine and St. Margaret and St. Michael. And it seems as though well one of the reasons why St. Catherine became the counselor of St. Joan of Arc was because she was going to, uh, it was going to be necessary for St. Joan to defend herself before a, a cadre of philosophers and theologians, which she did. <laughs> Uh, when she was captured by the Burgundians and put on trial. Both St. Catherine and St. John were given the grace of God to have wisdom, to be able to answer those who persecuted them with the wisdom uh, of the gospel, not just the wisdom of men, but the wisdom of the gospel. So in today's liturgy and on this memorial, we celebrate, you might say, the wisdom of God which is the same wisdom with which the, um, the, the widow, the poor widow, judged things correctly before uh, the whole of the world and all that the world has to offer. She was willing to give even the little that she had for the worship of God, putting aside all care and worry about her, her livelihood. Uh, sometimes we cling to ephemeral things, things that pass away because uh, we are afraid to let go and put ourselves in the hands of God. These great saints like St. Saint Catherine and Saint, who is a martyr, St. Joan is not actually canonized a martyr but a virgin, but she, she died for the, um, the revelation that God gave to her. Uh, they were willing to throw away life uh, in favor of the worship of God, just as the widow was willing to give away the little that she had uh, for the sake of the worship of God. So we too need to judge things correctly with, with the wisdom of God, not with the wisdom of this world. We must listen to the voice of Jesus Christ, who speaks to us in his word and who gives us an example in this great sacrament of the altar by which he humbles himself and makes himself uh, available for us because he is mercy, because he is truth, and, and he is mercy. And so we invoke St. Catherine that we might see things correctly and put, our service in, uh, put ourselves in the service 
of Jesus Christ, even if it costs us a great deal, even if it should cost us our life, because God restores all things to those who are faithful to him.